So I'm sure people with any semblance of musical taste and knowledge remember Neil Young, right? A lot of people like him. A lot of people think he's a whiny voice boomer who made a stupid tableau on MP3 player that failed immediately as well, though. But totally relevant musician Neil Young, 81, has made quite the career of raging against the establishment, championing unions, criticising the war machine that is the American government, all through the medium of song. It's kind of his thing. Neil Young is not known for making the standard love songs. He is that guy who rages against the machine and points out their failures and corruption. So of course, Neil Young, champion of the little man, champion of the worker, is a champion of free speech. Of course he is, right? Uh, no, he's not. Because today, Neil Young issued an ultimatum to Spotify threatening to remove all his music from their platform if they don't kick Joe Rogan off the platform, he said. I want you to let Spotify know immediately today that I want all my music off their platform. I'm doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information about vaccines, potentially causing death to those who believe the disinformation being spread by them. They can have Neil Young or Rogan. Not both. Oh, well, that's a strong argument from superstar Neil Young, who everyone has heard of, but can't name a single one of his songs since after the 70s, when he was actually cool. Versus the most popular podcaster on the planet. Let's have a look at the figures, eh? Seeing as that is how every decision is made in a company. Neil Young, 6 million listeners a month. Good figures, very respectable. Let's have a look at Joe Rogan. 11 million listeners a day. Oh, don't let the door hit you on the way out, Neil. Good luck with your future endeavours and all that. And who is Neil Young to be saying things are misinformation? Last time I checked, he was a hippie singer, not a doctor. So anything he says is misinformation. These are the rules they set. And obviously he's referencing the Dr. Robert Malone episode on Joe Rogan. And I've listened to that episode and it was a sensible conversation between Rogan and the doctor. The usual suspects blew everything out of proportion. The buzzwords they settled on to be outraged about was mass formation psychosis and got all the NPCs losing their minds so they clicked on the video or website, which is what all of this is intended to do. Everyone's peddling misinformation for money. That part of the podcast was only a tiny part of the whole conversation, which Neil would know if you listened to the episode, which he definitely hasn't. And I wonder how many people have signed up to Spotify just to listen to Neil Young. I'd wager, with confidence, absolutely zero. How many people have signed up to Spotify just to listen to Rogan since he went Spotify exclusive? Millions. Because that was the entire point of them giving him a hundred million dollars. So good going, you idiots. Just keep on advertising with Spotify and Rogan. Every time these morons come out of the woodwork and say stupid stuff to cancel Rogan, you just give him more listeners and Spotify more money. You pique people's curiosity at what he's been saying, and it's not the opposite. It's never the opposite. And I suppose if you live as long as Neil Young, eventually you become what you've been fighting against your whole life. You become the establishment and want to stamp out dissented voices to the regime. His entire career was a lie, and this proves it. You can believe one thing and not want the other side wiped out. This is a man who sang a song called Rockin' in the Free World. Turns out this boomer shill doesn't want a free world at all. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.